Have you ever wanted to see how you would look like with a tattoo? Well now you can with the magical powers of Photoshop. Before we begin you'll need an image of a tattoo. You could easily google tattoo or go to graphic stock where you could find thousands of tattoos. Have you ever wanted to see how you would look like with a tattoo? Well now you can with the magical powers of Photoshop. Before we begin you'll need an image of a tattoo. You could easily google tattoo or go to graphic stock where you could find thousands of tattoos. If you haven't heard of graphic stock let me tell you. Graphic Stock is a subscription-based website that gives you unlimited access to graphics, vectors, and icons. The graphic-based website will continuously add new content to the library so that it stays fresh and relevant. You can start your first 7-day free trial today. The link will be in the description for you guys to check out. So this is what will be the, this is the result that we will be getting after this tutorial. So be sure to watch the whole entire thing to get this here. And you guys can apply this tattoo to any part of the body. Now the reason you're probably watching this is you know you don't want to go over to the tattoo parlor and be like hey I want a tattoo and it turns out you, you didn't like it and you want to get it removed and then it's a whole process well Photoshop actually does the process for you like you don't have to actually go to the tattoo parlor and get it done like you go to you can go to Photoshop get a picture of yourself and then apply to tattoo and you can see how you would look like before you, you actually get the tattoo done and if you don't like it then you can just easily take the tattoo off of course, the, you know, if you go to a tattoo parlor, that will be much difficult. So this is why we use Photoshop. Uh, you know, you can see how you would look like with a tattoo anywhere in the part of the body. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to do this right now. All right, so once you have your tattoo opened in Photoshop, this is the tattoo that we will be using in this tutorial. You're going to have a white background. Now, depending which image you chose, I would recommend using a tattoo just like this with a white solid background. It will be much easier because we could delete the background in an instant. And I'll show you guys how to do that right now. So if you go over to the left, you're going to see the tools panel. Simply click right here and it's going to be uh, under the quick selection tool. And it's going to look like this. It's, it's called the magic wand tool. What this tool does is you could select a area here and it works better with solid color. It selects a shade of that color. It's going to, you know, select all of it throughout the image and it's going to select everything and you can simply press delete and that will delete all of the white background. <laughs> Once we have deleted the background, um, we're going to go ahead and press command A or control A if you're on a PC, command is control on a PC. So every time I say command, it's con it's a uh, control if you're on a PC. Press command C to copy it and go over to the image that you're going to be applying the tattoo on. Press command V to paste it on top. And then here you're going to have layer one. Now, if you've done this, if you haven't done this yet, it's going to be layer zero. It doesn't matter. Just double click here on the text and then on the text and name it tattoo. And we're going to go ahead and double click the background layer. Now, I already done this, so you're not going to have this here, but you're going to go ahead and double click on an empty area on the background layer to unlock the layer so you could, you know, change up the background if you ever wanted to. But I'm not going to, so that's just an optional step. Now, go over to the tattoo layer here, and then we're going to go ahead and position the tattoo on top of the girl's calf here. And it's very simple, actually. Just zoom in here, and then we're going to go over to the tattoo, and then we're going to go ahead and make this smaller. Now, you're going to have to tweak this a little bit, depending on where you chose to apply the tattoo. So if you choose, like, a smaller part, like the hand, it's going to be a little bit difficult. Again, this all, like, all the factors are different, like the type of tattoo and the image you're using so just keep that in mind so I'm gonna be using this part because it's perfect because it's it's a big open uh, area it's visible and there's nothing on there so it's gonna be much easier so it's very simple simply I'm going to hold shift and drag this down to make it smaller because no tattoo looks good very big uh, you know depending I don't know I'm not a tattoo uh, expert but all I know is using Photoshop to apply tattoos so if I if I say something wrong please correct me but uh, here is the tattoo here, and it looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, click the check mark. But it looks a little bit fake to me. So press Command-T or Control-T, right-click inside, and go to Perspective. Now, this will allow you to change the perspective of the tattoo. So if you go over to the left and the right sides uh, and the top here, you're going to see uh, some arrows uh, if you hover over it. If you click and drag this up or down on the left and right sides, you can change the perspective. So you can see how that changes. Now because her leg is kind of pointing downwards like this, this should be kind of slanted downwards as well because that's kind of how it works, right? So I'm going to drag this down just like so. Just 
just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and press the check mark. Now that looks a little bit more realistic, of course. And I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bit smaller here and press Command Enter or Control Enter from the PC. And uh, go over to Blending Options in the Layers palette and then select where it says Normal, select Multiply. This will just change the blending mode to multiply, so it will just uh, blend it within the image, uh, the, ba the background image. So just keep that in mind. And then decrease the opacity to around 65%, so it kind of bleeds in, like kind of like ink um, uh, on a tattoo, right? It bleeds through the skin, because that's a tattoo, right? So that's why it looks like this. No tattoo would look good if, if it's harsh like this, right? It looks like crap. It looks fake. So we decrease the opacity to um, to 65% uh, or depending which tattoo you chose, you could, you know, give or take. So 65% would look good uh, on, with this tattoo here and it just looks really good on this image here. So... This is how you apply tattoos in Photoshop. If you guys like this tutorial, please leave a rating below as it will help my content and I'll be providing more tutorials later in the future. So just keep that in mind. Subscribe if you haven't and uh, I will catch you guys on my next video. Until then, stay classy and peace out.